Hello everyone, my name is Saurabh and today we are going to discuss on the topic Inventory Management in Laravel e-commerce. Now as we know the main feature of Bagisto is multi-source inventory. This feature allows you to create multiple inventories for your products. The idea seems to be very much effective if you want to manage your inventory which are located at multiple regions across a country. So moving on. Let me show you how you can manage your multiple inventories and bigger store and provide your customer a relentless service. So first of all, we need to go on the bigger store admin dashboard and then we need to go on settings. Now here we have few features like local currency, exchange rate, inventory sources, channels, users, sliders and taxes. So the very first thing which we need to focus on is the inventory sources. Now by default when you will install Bagasto, there is a default channel which has already been created and it will be used throughout the Bagasto. So let's just go ahead and create a different inventory source. So there are few things which you need to keep in mind while defining the inventory source. First the code and then the name which are the mandatory field. Then you can give a description. If you know the longitude and latitude you can provide them here. Also if you want you can set the priority. So whenever like you have created multiple inventories and you want to assign priority to the inventory you can provide the priority. Next the most important thing is to provide the source as active. When you will take this button, then only this inventory source will become active. And next you need to provide the contact inf information. <clears throat> and then we need to provide the source address of the inv in inventory. So these are some of the important fields which you need to keep in mind while creating a new inventory source. So once the fields had been properly filled, you can just save the inventory source. And here as you can see that a new inventory source named Delhi has been created. Next you need to go on channels. So there is a by default one channel which has already been created. So either you can create a new channel or let's go on and edit this channel. So as you can see here that uh, two inventory source are being displayed in the default channel. One is the default which is by there and one is the new inventory source which we have just created that is Jali. So suppose now you want to like sell products through the default channel from both the inventories. You can just multi select these inventory. Like here I have selected both the inventory source and just save the channel. So right now what we have done is that we have like chosen two inventory source for the particular default channel. Now let's moving on with the catalog section. So here I have created uh, one simple product here. Let's go and edit this product. So basically all the uh, fields which are required for the products has been already filled. So we just need to focus on the inventory. So before that when we have not created the inventories, there is only one default inventory which I have in which I have defined the quantity of the product. Now since I have created a new inventory name as Delhi, so here I am also going to define the quantity of the product which is located at this particular inventory. So let's provide it as 10. Let's uh, provide an image of the product. And then you can just save the product. So here as you can see the quantity has been updated to 14. The 4 is the quantity which is there in the default channel and 10 is the quantity which I have defined right now in the Dell channel. Now let's moving on with the front end part and let me show you how you can manage these inventories from back end. So first of all let's go and uh, buy this item. Everything seems perfect. So let's continue with this. <coughs> so
so here we have got the shipping methods you can choose the shipping method whatever you want next the payment information you can choose cash on delivery money transfer paypal and at last we will get the summary of your order so let's go ahead and place this order so the order has been successfully placed and we have got our order id which is number four so let's again go back at our admin dashboard and go to sales so here as you can see we have got the order number four which is a 45 us dollar which we have just processed so the very first thing which you need to do is to go on the action and click on the eye icon so the <clears throat> very first section which you will get is the information in which you will get the details regarding the order the customer the billing address shipping address the payment information which you have selected the shipping and the product which you have ordered as you can see here the 45 dollar is the price of the product so next we are going to raise an invoice for this product so just click on the invoice button so once again we will go down to the product and right now here as you can see that the SKU is there product name is there and the quantity which we have ordered so here just provide the quantity which you want to for which you want to create the invoice so once you have provided the quantity just click on save invoice to create invoice for this particular product so as you can see that the invoice has been successfully created here and once you go down you will see that the item set is ordered and invoiced the last step is to ship the product so let's move on and click on ship button now this is the main part where you will be handling inventories now first let's uh, define a carrier title for example and provide a traffic tracking number these are two things which you will get if you have used any kind of a shipping module we have already launched the liable marketplace aramex shipping so if you have installed that model you will get the tracking number and you can provide the tracking number here with the title <clears throat> now here as you can see the last section of products order the very first thing you will see the source now here as you can see that there are two inventory sources one is default and one is jelly now it depends upon you that uh, on which reason you are serving the customer so based upon the distance and everything you can decide which inventory source you want to choose and from where the products will be shipped from so as here as you can see that the below we have the product details also and a default and delhi location as source so if you will select default then the default field will be activated and if you will select delhi then the delhi field will be activated so suppose i want to ship my product from the delhi inventory source i will just choose the quantity which i need to ship this is the quantity which is showing which i have already defined from back end to the product and once you have provide the quantity just click on save shipment so here as you can see the shipment has been created successfully and if you go below you will find out that the status is ordered invoice and shipped now if we again go back onto the product and <clears throat> we will see that So we will see here that uh, since the one order, one product has already been shipped from Delhi location, so the quantity of the order has been updated as nine. So this is a very simple method by which you can create multiple inventories and easily manage your inventories from Bagus to the Laravel e-commerce platform. If you have any issue regarding managing your inventory sources or like configuring the module, you can always visit ticket at bagus.uvitus.com. Thank you.